okay. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, if you have a very, if you have a very dramatic person that is your spouse, okay, in no offense though, they, they might have some insecurities. I don't know about feeding into those insecurities. That's not how you get rid of them, okay? <clears throat> they literally call him, and like, mind you, the first thing he says is, I'm sorry, I'm married. And then the next thing he says, oh, but it won't be for very long okay and his wife automatically is like what do you mean it won't be for long okay and he's like wait great i'm so super great she's on the phone right now listen here i know you are screwing the amazon driver sorry and delivery person and she's like what are you talking about it's like i caught you on a ring camera you got a lot of ring cameras oh yeah I was just watching another YouTube video where it's called this woman caught her husband cheating with his secretary while they went um, to go visit her parents and you know one of their children was sick he's supposed to be at home take care of his child but he actually at home bringing over his secretary mistress and she caught him on a ring camera you got a lot of ring camera oh yeah it's good uh-huh and he tried to delete the video like a dummy. What's good? He he deleted when she came, but he forgot when she left. Ooh, ooh. What's good? And my, the reason why he actually deleted because his wife, I went ahead and texted him and say, hey, there's like two random strangers on the porch. You need to go check it out. Okay. So like he quickly tried to delete it, but she had already seen him. And it was caught him and his fool on the damn porch. Hello, now you got this guy that caught what's called caught the Amazon delivery person coming into his house, and he stayed there for twenty five minutes. And she said, "Oh, he had a question." You gotta love twenty five minute long questions. You gotta love twenty five minutes. Cause, Cause we all, we all believe. What in the world? Some people just don't need to have a car. I don't know why they bother driving. It's good. If you don't know, you're not supposed to drive on the other lane. Cause there's traffic coming towards you, not not behind you. I don't know what to say to you. I'm, I'm just saying. Anyway, um. This is quite funny. This is quite funny. She's like, uh, people can have a normal conversation without climbing into the bed. First, she tried to say he had a question about his girlfriend. Okay, because I, you know me, I'm listening. I, I'm, I'm nosy. I'm not gonna interject if I was good. Listen, a problem don't involve me. I'm listening. Okay, it's good. As long as it's not involving me, I'm just listening. I'm listening to all of it. Okay. First, she tried to say he came in because he had a question about his girlfriend. Okay, but then when he, when her husband was like, "Yeah, right," like like how? Mind you, she knew the name. She knew his name too. Like everybody was like, "Wait, what? Mm? What? You know the you know the Amazon delivery driver by name, by like name name." Okay, like no, well, I was got I don't know. And my am like where I live, we get a different one all the time so given the fact that she knows this one by name and she's like oh it's because you keep ordering amazon packages uh okay sure why not for real well whatever um i um i don't know it's not it was good it's not that bad you know that you know his you know his name he's not that bad if you know you know your your delivery person's name you know especially if you, you see him um a lot of times but given the fact that you now know their name and now your person what's called it starts to get personal and then you 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 let them into your home while your while your spouse isn't there and you don't even tell your spouse um that you had somebody in their home <laughs> it don't look good you know and it was good for the fact that first she said 
he was gonna ask he was asking a question about his girlfriend then it became he was asking about a neighbor's delivery because he because apparently they supposed he wants to know if he, they knew the neighbor and about their packages i'm just like so you you, you switching you're not helping yourself like it, it like it, the more she kept see that's the thing that's cool when you, when you really trying to like catch somebody in something and like you what's called even if it's not the thing that you thought of but you know there is a problem if you keep asking quick fire questions constantly over and over again and there's no room for them to pause and actually allow them to think and you just keep going and you keep asking them for a response and you keep asking they just keep slipping up more and more and more and more and more okay so she the what's good she had it went from he was asking a question about his girlfriend then he was asking about um the neighbor then was asking about the neighbor's package like she just kept talking and all i'm seeing is like oh man she see she went she went to home depot or lowe's i don't even know if they were my shovels but she definitely went out she bought herself a shovel she dug a hole and she lied in it and then actually had the audacity to call somebody to ask them, why am I lying in a ditch? Maybe because you put yourself in it? Did you ever think about that? No. Well, think about it because you're in it. Like, I don't understand you people. You be digging a ditch for your own self and you have the audacity to sit up here and ask, well, how did I get here? Wait, didn't you do like all this by yourself? And now you asking that question? Oh man. Let's go. This 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 was a funny. This, this is funny. This is funny. This is, this is good. I feel bad, you know. It's, she's like, she's like, I understand why you're trying to divorce me. You always think I'm cheating and whatnot. So that's probably the wrong thing to do. If your spouse always think you might be cheating because obviously they have an insecurity with them, you don't feed that insecurity by letting somebody into the home and you don't tell them that you let somebody into their home. I don't know how that's a smart thing. If somebody came over, then you tell your spouse somebody came over. When you hide things like that, it look bad. Even if you didn't do anything wrong, you technically did something wrong, okay? Because that's breaking trust. That's breaking trust that they're supposed to have in a relationship, which makes the relationship an insecure relationship. And then you be like, you're always insecure. Oh, look at the shit you do. The things you do make me insecure. I, I don't understand it. Your husband gone for three days. Went to his parents' house. Did you go up to his parents' house? Because it's been three days, and you sit up here and say, I don't want him to over there talking and getting um, his parents involved. But come on now. No. Mm -mm. Well, this was a reaction video. Let me know what y'all feel about this. And let me know if you actually have a spouse that's, like, really insecure and you, like, never did anything. If you stuck it out with them or anything like that. Um, or if you just couldn't handle it and you just jumped up and left also let me know if you actually caught your spouse like cheating on a ring that's always great that's always great send me a link send me a video i want to see that all right have a nice day stay warm stay safe